From the KATC Weather Lab, here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back. Well, a fair start to the weekend. A little cool tonight, warming up tomorrow. Look out for storms early Sunday, perhaps a severe weather element, but we're not overly sold on that. We'll talk more about that in just a bit. And then by the end of the weekend, maybe even some sunshine Sunday afternoon as we get ready for the big Festival International Week. More on that as well. So let's take a look first off at what's guiding our weather maker this weekend. And it's an upper level low that's going to be producing a surface low in eastern New Mexico this evening. That's where the storms are. And this low will be pushing to the east, but also uh, will be weakening a little bit and then getting cut off from the low. So as it passes east of us, it's going to be slowing down. That means maybe lingering clouds into Monday, but no weather issues beyond Sunday morning, the way it's shaping up at this point. Right now, that upper level low producing snow at elevation, expecting at least 18 inches in the mountains. So late season skiing still good from uh, anywhere uh, from north of Albuquerque, Taos on northward into Colorado, even portions of Wyoming as well. And then farther to the east, that's where the thunderstorms are erupting this afternoon. And locally, we see those high clouds that are streaming across Louisiana. They will continue overnight tonight, although they should thin a little bit for tomorrow morning. So maybe a little limited sun early in the day, but clouds dominating for three quarters of the weekend for sure. So tonight, the severe weather risk will be eastern New Mexico into western Texas into the panhandle. And then going into tomorrow, that severe weather risk will manifest farther to the east from the Texas Hill Country to Dallas but only a marginal risk. Uh, this is a schedule uh, uh, level one through out of five, so not too terribly high on the severe weather dynamics, and that edges into portions of Acadiana, including Acadia, Evangeline Parish is on westward, but uh, the main threat could be storms that could produce wind damage, maybe a hail or an isolated tornado possible, but this carries us through Saturday night, and notice the Storm Prediction Center skips much of Acadiana and then picks up that slight risk farther to the uh, that marginal risk uh, farther to the east into Sunday afternoon and beyond. But nonetheless, be on the lookout for a few severe storms early Sunday. 67 degrees right now with fair skies. The computer tells us the sun is out and it is, but it's being blocked by plenty of high clouds above 10,000 feet. Temperatures this morning starting out in the upper 40s, finishing out uh, in the upper 60s. 69, the official high in Lafayette today, thanks to all the high clouds across the area. Meanwhile, conditions offshore initially rough, but settling down a little bit late this afternoon. So as we put future cast in motion again tomorrow morning, we start off partly sunny. There's that low pressure system at the surface. That means uh, that'll be also pushing a warm front northward. So so that could spark off a shower late tomorrow afternoon, early tomorrow evening, but rain chance through midnight tomorrow night, 20% or less. So no major concerns. Then we get into Sunday morning and things begin to speed up, at least temporarily. So showers and storms entering the state. We morning hours of Sunday morning can't tell you if there's going to be a severe weather watch or not, but that doesn't mean we may not have warning. So even though we may not have a severe thunderstorm watch or a tornado watch, we could still have a few severe storms. We get to 5 a.m. Those strong storms entering uh, portions of Beauregard into Rapides Parish. More action across Calcasieu Parish. And then rain and storms very likely near 100%. First thing Sunday uh, at 7 a.m. But notice how quickly they push off to the east. Here's 10 a.m. And here we are at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Storms almost clearing the state. And in Acadiana will be drying out. And it looks like a little sunshine for late Sunday afternoon. As for rainfall, not concerned with that most of the models going between a half inch and an inch of rain. The RPM model indicating no more than an inch and the European model even a little bit less than that. We'll take a look at the GFS tonight at 10, but a half inch to an inch of rain certainly possible. Temperatures tonight cool in the lower 50s tomorrow, warming into the mid to upper 70s and might see those readings again with a little sunshine come Sunday afternoon. So pleasant evening ahead, seasonably cool temperatures, high clouds will continue out there. 53 the low, 70 Seven the high tomorrow, getting closer to normal. Maybe an isolated shower late in the day, but not likely. Rain chances pegged up nice and high early Sunday, so cancel outdoor plans early Sunday. 
but not outdoor plans for Sunday afternoon. I think it's going to be okay there. Lingering clouds into Monday, a little sunshine here and there through Tuesday. And as we progress through the week, it looks like temperatures staying at or below normal through Festival International. More importantly, it stays dry and during the day, not too terribly hot, so less dehydration, which is always a good thing and nice and cool in the evening for those of us that may get a little burn during the day, Saturday and Sunday. Mm -hmm. uh, no matter what your skin type, make sure you wear sunblock or a hat yeah. going into Bring the Bring a straw hat. It's the, festival the, after the all. Right. 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 Thanks, Rob. Still ahead tonight on KTC.